Hey guys, what's happening? So, what you see in front of you is a 2006 Ford F-250 Power Stroke 6 liter and has about uh, 200,000 miles on it and kind of doing some maintenance right now and I actually have some play in the steering wheel that I want to get rid of. I mean, I have 35 inch tires and it's kind of getting worse. It, it, what's funny is the problem seemed to get exacerbated when I got new tires. So, I want to try to get rid of that play and I've done this many times in different cars over the years, so um, yeah, it's a pretty big basic fix. Uh, I'm gonna take the air, air box to get off or get to it, but uh, yeah, you just gotta tighten the uh, screw. I'll show you how to do that, but yeah, the power steering gear is down here, so you have to take the air box to get off it. So yeah, I mean, obviously, you wanna check the basics first, like your uh, joints and stuff, but I replaced my joints about, uh, about a year and a half, two years ago, so. Uh, like I said, having these bigger tires uh, creates more wear on the gear, so. Um, Alright, so they really did put this in a hard spot to get to. See that nut right there with the Allen on top? There's a nut. Well, you have to twist that in, usually about a quarter inch at a time, but I'll, I'll show you, uh, try to explain and give you a picture of what it looks like or what it does. So I've built, we built probably five or six power steering gears over the years, and so what happens is you have a couple gears. I'll bring up a picture in a couple seconds. And when you tighten that screw, you're creating like a, like a mesh on the gears. So the gear is doing this, basically, inside that power steering gear box. So what you're doing is you're tightening it. I'll bring up a picture right now. So in that picture, you can see the gears, you're basically pushing the gears down. So you're tightening the gear. And the critical thing is if you ever tighten the gear, then it's going to bind and it won't steer. Or you can like lock up the steering. So you got to get like the perfect balance of you know, no play and also being able to steer at the same time and not have it too tight and stiff. All right, so I used an 18 millimeter with the universal joint to unloosen it, but it's difficult because it's in there, so. All right, getting one of these little ball Allens will definitely make it easier to get in there. You can so, see that, but on this particular engine, it's weird. There's actually a double lock nut. So I've never seen the double lock nut, but I'm assuming that's to keep the other one in place so it doesn't back off. I think it's interesting is the lock bolt was a 17 millimeter and that bottom bolt right there was a 16 millimeter. So it is very difficult to get in there um, without having to take the whole radiator out. So I put this little, uh, what's it called here, the uh, crowbar to give a little extra space on the radiator hose, but let me show you real fast. I have the wrench coming from this side, right under the shroud there. This doesn't have to be perfect, but what I'm doing is I'm eyeballing the net and I'm have it locked in there and I'm backing off on the Allen about probably about a quarter turn and then I'm going to tighten the, the lock nut again and that should bring it in a quarter inch just because I can't get an Allen in there and a wrench at the same time so well I mean at least to be able to tighten it down. All right so every time you make an adjustment um, obviously lock down the lock nut and then turn the car on and, and turn the steering wheel back and forth but what you're looking what you want to do is if you over tighten it you're gonna get binding and this it will stick they won't want to come out of a turn. To the back, turn the wheels, feel for binding. Go back and forth a couple times. I can go more. I'm not binding yet. I don't feel any bind yet. I still have a little bit of play though. So. So, I still have a little bit of play. I'm gonna have a little bit no matter what. But... All right. All right, so that's it. I mean, this thing's dramatically reduced the amount of play in there. I mean, you're still gonna have always a little bit of play. Um, you don't wanna get rid of all of it because, it didn't, like I said, you bind up. And also, like, when you make an adjustment to this, it has to kind of like mesh in like a new gear pattern. So the, the teeth, are hitting a new version part of metal, so they kind of need to mesh up. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten this all back together, and that's it, so cool. And then tomorrow I'm gonna do a uh, flush. I don't think I've ever done a flush on this thing, so we're talking 200,000 miles, so I'm just kind of going through the truck and doing like 200,000 mile maintenance here.